Hi, in this video we will talk about vectors. Before formally defining vectors, one might ask, what do we need vectors for? Let's discuss some situations when vectors come handy. In a typical 3D coordinate system with your x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis, you might want to know the orientation of your object. So suppose I had a rectangle and I'd like to know the direction of my longer sides and shorter sides relative to my 3D coordinate system. I need to identify the direction for side number one, two, three, and four. So I need uh, some way to identify a direction. Let's take another situation. Suppose you have an object in your 3D coordinate system that you need to shift from one location to some new location. That shift needs you to define a direction of your shift and the amount of that shift. A direction and some sort of a length in order to be able to shift that object from location A to location B. Let's take a third example. Suppose you have an object in space and some other objects. Suppose I know my exact location of my first object, object A, in a space relative to my 3D coordinate system. But I want to describe the location of the three other objects relative to the location of my object A. So if we are trying to compare the center of each of my three other objects, objects one, two, and three, relative to the location or the center of object A, I need to describe some direction and some length for each one of those. As you can see, it is really useful if we had some sort of parameter or a quantity that encapsulate in it two elements, a direction and length. In mathematics, we actually do have a concept that identify a direction and a length. It's called vectors. Vectors used in physics to describe force, velocity, and other physical concepts. But in geometry, it can be used to describe a movement or a shift from one location to another. So formally, vectors are defined as quantities that have direction and length. In a 3D coordinate system, vectors are identified with three components. The proper notation uses lowercase letter to represent a vector with a small arrow on top equal. The three quantities are enclosed inside angle brackets. Let's call them A1, A2, and then A3. A1 represent shift or distance in x direction. A2 is the distance in y direction. And A3 is the distance in z direction. In general, a vector represents a shift by certain amount in 3D space.